So a lot of people asking about how the house is going. So I said I'd do a quick video and um, start taking a few photos. So basically, this is the front bedroom with a corner window look, overlooking the street. A uh, little planter bed out down here and as well in front of it. Um, this is basically the garage wall there with like, um, it's going to be clad on a feature stone. Um, entry into the bedroom and then this is basically going to be storage. So all the storage in here is going to be basically uh, kind of a white milky glass color um, straight through here then you go into study my study so in the study basically there's going to be an l-shaped kind of corner desk coming around from there to this ledge got the computer here and some fly tie and stuff set you there little planted garden section out in front of the window and uh, probably a drawing board over in this corner um come back out this way going to the entry so we've got a 1200 wide door with a uh, a glass side light beside it and a glass pane here in the door as well and basically all the glass to the front entry is going to be that white milky uh, obscure glazing as well just offer some privacy to the house from the street and people looking in um in the entry here between basically the guest bedroom and the study there's a little art recess here and there'll be a task light here shining onto whatever we put inside there um, when you come into the entry then you basically have a view straight down the passage of the hallway um, and also this is a full height double glazed window which overlooks the courtyard and there'll be um, a featured little art piece down here which will be lit up at night and some planting etc in here to the left is going to be the garage so what you have here is that there's going to be a little landing here which is going to come out about that wide and back and then there's going to be some steps and um, going down this way and this is going to hold up some freezers etc and then over on this side the garage will basically be access to the boat store uh, my car will go here uh, lauren's car goes beside it and basically in this side here we have um, um trailer storage for the kayaks and motorbikes etc um, and we've got all these set up basically to be wide enough to accommodate the existing racks which we already own um, and the same with these guys as well um, down the hall here basically on the left we have say uh, double glazed sliding doors and on the right then we have a theater here as well which is going to have uh, so this theater entry is centered on the glazing here and there's going to be barn style sliding doors fixed to the outside of that wall and probably some timber panels in the ceiling um, so that's kind of a view out here now to the courtyard so you can see ba the dining and kitchen area here um, our bedroom, South Lawrence bedroom there'll be an outdoor pergola area here um, and this is basically the boat store so there's um, steps down to the boat store there there'll be a little screen wall going on top of that um, with openings in it to allow light in uh, but still give us privacy from the street and this will be a heavily planted section to the back of the garage and a little more planting down along here um, so if you come into the theatre basically full height double glazed window there and this is a recess brick in the brickwork to accommodate the television and cabinets with speakers etc and Lauren's probably going to be making up some fabric panels to go in here and in the ceiling there will be a recess bulkhead um, back up to 31 courses which is that height for um, timber batten ceiling so the idea basically here is that uh, the, this is centred on this window here out to the courtyard and when you have people over like cousins and family and guests or whatever the kids can run in and out here and be playing and we can basically be over here in the main uh, dining family area um, and still be able to keep an eye on them but still far enough away to have a bit of a break <laughs> um, come out here down to the hall we go down so at the end of the hall here there's a little um, brick recess ledge which is going to be tiled so all the floors in the house are basically timber be a tile ledge here and then it's going to be timber batten horizontal timber battens on plywood in that recess with a little um, spotlight over then shining on vase of flowers or whatever we end up sticking there um, this here then will be the dining area family area with another brickwork recessed area for televisions etc um, and then this here is going to be a kitchen island in front 
um, kitchen cabinets behind and overheads and then this is basically the scullery wall to the pan to the pantry area so i'll run through that after there's that recess again so we come in here to the first bedroom which is rory's room and he has his own garden out here uh, double glazed as well and then uh, this is going to be his cabinet there for his clothes etc and um, like the other rooms that's a milky glass sliding robe which actually runs through here and this is basically the main storage for the house runs through into there and then Eva's cabinets are on the same side so you just one wall of white milky glass so there's quite a lot of storage in the house here which is good I'm sure you collect a lot of junk um, in here then is basically going to be the family bathroom so double glazed windows either side we've got a, a freestanding egg-shaped bath which is going to go here there'll be a plate on the wall just below that little shape ledge which is going to have um the mixer and the tap spout on it and then we've a little ledge in here then for shampoos and whatnot um over on this side here there'll be a brick ledge on the base which is going to support a cabinet and over the cabinet then there's going to be a full mirrored wall and a pendant hanging from this corner into the bathroom here we have also got the shower which is a um, hobbless shower so basically the tiles just flow straight in we have a four course high brick shaving ledge here for whenever eva gets to that age where she's going to be shaving her legs god help us all and a shampoo recess here there's also um, a double shower head here as well so you have the rain one and then the hose as well and the mixer will be on this side of the wall here so basically you can turn the shower on and off without getting wet um storage area again over here we basically have the toilet so not really much to explain there and then here then is eva's bedroom so she's probably got one of the bigger bedrooms in the house because she's her first and because she's a girl she's also going to have a lot of clothes so she's more storage um, which will be hers and again that just runs all the way through so it looks like one big bank of um, white glass and she also has um, a little planted section that's going to come out here as well so I come back in here this is all 31 core ceilings the bedrooms are 28 a little brick ledge thing so this now is basically the dining area here family area here with couches and the recess for the brick recess for television and um, lower cabinetry these are stacker doors double glazed stacker doors so basically they're not like sliders these will actually stack all in one panel to that side and then one panel to this side so you can open up this whole area and um, basically north is about that direction there so you've an awful lot of natural light coming into the house all the time um, as well as into the hallway which is what we wanted and no matter where you are in the house you're always looking out into a planted garden so that's that wind that's that little window now from the entry little sculpture here um steps down to the boat store and pergola area over that side um that's the entrance into myself and lauren's bedroom which is centered on the access into the lad's bedroom um in here then we have a kitchen island here so that's going to be um a gray stone top with a timber face panel we've got timber floors and basically the rest of the cabinetry will be um white stone tops with um uh, white cabinetry also and centered here will be through the walkway the main way in and there's going to be an oven cooktop range hood and basically all the cabinets run into the window frame splash back runs into the window frame and stone tops ones into the window frame as well in here is basically the scullery so what we have here is a pantry on this side pantry on this side and a recess in the, in the center for the fridge freezer um, and we also have a, um, a microwave on this side as well and some storage over the top um, all the pantries are on drawers so you can pull everything out and see what's in there so you won't have loads of food with gone off sell by dates in here there will be a deep cabinet with um, shallower shelves about 600 deep uh, so basically we can hang the two Dysons on this wall and charge them up beside that cabinet there's going to be a recessed open shelf vertical open shelf cabinet which will take the ironing board and iron etc on the main wall here there's going to be washing machine here sink here um same as the kitchen white white with white stone tops and then we have overhead cabinets with um, hanging rail and splashbacks 
out here is going to be the main drawing courtyard out here uh, we won't walk through there because this is basically flooded at the moment with all the rain and outside the back of through all these windows there's going to be like maybe i don't know some bamboos or something growing up high and lower down then there'll be um, a veggie patch lauren or something to put in there so there's a bit more room than we thought we'd have um so over here then is the entry into our bedroom just give a quick look around this way so obviously that's the dining area the hall down and then access to the kids bedrooms and bathroom etc behind the wall so everything's nice and discreet um, in here will be our bedrooms we have 31 course um, high ceiling at the top down here is dropping down to 28 courses with a bulkhead running straight through which also runs down into the bathroom and then the bathroom is also 31 courses high um, and what you see straight away when you go into the bathroom is there's um, an opening here in the wall and in the back end there's a little slit slit here so that's basically for um, a dividing shower screen dividing say the toilet which is going to be here from the shower on the other side and then we've got um, white glass doors as well just for privacy in the shower and toilet um, and at the back it's kind of hard to see with shadows etc but the top of this is actually 14 course high shaving or shaving not shaving ledge but um shampoo ledge down the bottom we have a four course high shaving ledge for lauren and a strip drain going here we have a double shower head so you have the rain shower head and then you have the uh, freehand hose or jet power if you want it and then the mixer will be going on this wall here somewhere so basically you can turn it on get the temperature you want without having to get wet and um, when you look back this way here basically this is going to be a feature tile wall it's uh, 190 brick deep and then we have the double glaze on either side we've got um, brick ledge in front of the windows which will be bricked up underneath as well running straight through cabinet will sit down on top of it and we have a mirror here in the background um, over on this side of the bathroom there's a recess here for Lauren to put a, a makeup desk and chair and mirrors etc and um, whatever she wants to do for um, her hair and stuff her makeup in here then is basically going to be the walk-in robe so you're going to have this will all be open and so there's a fair bit of storage in here going right the way around to the back and across here as well which is good um back out to the be main bedroom then so double so basically have double glazed everywhere the other thing which is kind of a bit unique is we've actually insulated the house as well so you can see the king span insulation across the top not a lot of people have actually doing that in australia for some bizarre reason i don't know why um but yeah this is what the, co the garden looks like so this is going to be the barbecue pergola area mass planting here uh, some planting along this section and all, all along the garage so you have like a backdrop so you're always looking into a garden really instead of a, a, a brick house um there's those doors we talked about before the little art ledge sculpture will be there come around this way we go down to the boat store so there'll be steps here obviously going down with a gate this will be the boat store which will have a gate between the door into the garage and the meter box and um, hopefully about the same, same height as the garage roller door um to get planned for that still this will all be exposed that driveway there's the garage we said before I don't know if I can see this now, but boat store, double car garage with a storeroom. This here is going to obviously the whole of the front house is rendered. And um, this here is going to be a feature stone that we're going to wall or put on. This is basically the front bedroom where we started the video, and that's going to be rendered too. It'll be a different colour. And we have a little planter bed there. So it'll be kind of um, wall lights down low, three wall lights here, and then step lights as you walk up because it's going to be steps formed up here to the entry in a landing and um, basically that's where this feature with stone wall will end and then you have render in here again which picks up the rest of the house um yeah and that's pretty much the house now i think this is down the size of the gate here as well some steps and then there'll be different gardens down there so the lads all have something to look out onto as a study window but yeah that's the house for now um, brickwork is now complete, getting ready to do the roof. Happy days!